I can, hello, where am I? Hi, I can practice that, like the driver, I did it as, as perfectly as I possibly could and it still gave me the error message. It didn't give me, it won't give me the error when I'm practicing it before stream. Um, not that I need to practice, I guess. Um, but the second that the stream turns on, I'm like, all right, this is for the, all the marbles, baby. Let's get it right. And it fucks up. Gay-ass driver. Bitch-ass driver. Anyway, welcome back. How are you guys doing? It, the fucking decay driver is like the most fickle piece of shit fucking DX driver I've ever, like, I mean, not, like, the most piece of shit driver ever, but, like, of the ones that I own, it is, like, the most fickle piece of shit driver, and that's the Neo Deca driver that I have there. It's still a fickle piece of shit, because it's essentially no different than the original, other than the edit sounds. Mechanically, it's still the exact same piece of shit from 2009. All right, baby, we're back. Welcome back. We're going to, um... Oh yeah, Emma, 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 Emma Emmerich. Talk to me. Probably being kept in filter chamber number two on floor B1 of Shell 2's core. Thank you. And uh, where is that when she's at home? Okay. I just had to remember what button it was. Anyway, welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 2, um, the portion of the game that sucks really fucking bad. It's, uh, too bad that Raiden didn't keep that swimming gear from the beginning of the game. That would have helped. Probably. I actually was like looking for something, looking for the mask, and it's like, no, 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 that, that's not. Uh. Jello. Raiden, are you reading me? This is Otacon. What's your situation? Uh. Wet and miserable. This place is flooded. The seawater that's been pumped up is pouring into the building. I see. Listen, there's something I have to tell you about EE. E. Well, it's not like she's scared of swimming out. or something. She's afraid of water. Uh. What? Yeah. Yeah. When she was six years what old, what do you mean? Yeah. My father in our swimming pool. She can't swim? Well, yes and no. We used to swim a lot together when we were kids. In fact, she swam like a fish until that day when she almost drowned. When the accident happened, I was in my room. I learned later that EE e. was calling me for help. She didn't doubt for a minute that I'd be there. You could see the pool from my room, but I didn't realize that. I, I, I really don't want to know what you were doing what at were the time. Doing? Just don't know. I really don't want to know. So Emma survived the ordeal. Yeah, but my father didn't. Fuck your father. So you blamed yourself and left your family. No. E.E. E. seems to believe that was the case. The fact is, I betrayed her. And you think she can't swim because of the traumatic experience? I haven't seen her since that day, but yes, I think so. I got a letter from Julie, her mother, after they moved back to England. In her letter, she mentioned that E.E. E. couldn't swim anymore, that she refused to even wear a bathing suit. Damn. If she still Damn. can't swim, we're in trouble. Level B1 in the core is pretty much flooded. Look. Maybe you can help her overcome the trauma. You want me to help her get over it? <laughs> what, me? It's still gonna take some time to repair the cam off. Sorry, kid. Emma's rescue is up to you. 
Thanks. An underwater mission. Well, this is a first. Look. I'll Everything's a first for you, I suggest man. suggest that you drum the map of the building into your head, because you won't have time to look at it when you try to bring Emma out. I'm counting on you, Raiden. I covered most of the core when I had to take out the C4s. If there's anything you need to ask me, call me on the codec. I'll do that. Do I think the Patriots have any stake in the crypto economy? Yes. But, like, in the same way that they have stakes in, like, keeping people stupid and docile, like, information control shit. Oh, this is the wrong fucking way to go. Everything's a first for you, Brighton. You've never been on a real mission before. Actually, that's not true, but... That's what we're being led to believe, isn't it? I'm thinking about somebody who's only played Metal Gear Rising and then, like, playing Solid 2 and then trying to reconcile what they know about Jack in that game to what they're being told about Brighton in this game. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. Don't blow that up. <gasps> if it isn't Saucy Jack. Oh my god. How are you not, like, in pieces? Oh, that's depressing, huh? Hey, man. Snake, it's Stillman. Stillman's here. Yeah? He was waiting for me. Right. Okay. So you you lost it a little bit, huh? But he's yeah. Okay, but no, no, no. We're fine. We're good, buddy. We're good. We're good, man. He's good. Brighton's really in his uh, not being crazy era. So I wouldn't even worry about. Stinger? High D. He's as sane as he's hey, that's fucking true. He is as sane as he's ever been. Definitely. God, oh, I forgot. This one comes first. Well, well, well. Still ticking, huh? Yeah, talk that shit, right? Unfortunately, hell had no vacancies. See, he's way cooler than you, dude. You see how you said something lame and he has something fucking awesome? <laughs> You suck. It's like seriously. <laughs> I thought so. Human muscles are 
quite eloquent. They speak out clearly what a person's next move would be. They even tell me which way a gun is going to be pointed before the trigger is pulled. But your muscles, they're different. This should be fun. Well worth the wait. Do you think Greg never thinks about this guy? You knew I was coming? You've become a nuisance. I can't let you interfere with Arsenal gear. The I feel like just ahead. She is of no use yeah. to us now. This but dude really nicks right in the, the most. Bait for the big catch. Crazy Ivan sometimes speaks the truth. Crazy Ivan. Emma's alive? She was some time ago. But the flooding has become quite serious. I wouldn't be surprised if she's a mermaid now. What? Did you really think killing the president would prevent a nuclear strike? Think again. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Arsenal is still armed with a purified hydrogen bomb. Why? Purified hydrogen bomb? Why? This is no ordinary nuclear bomb. This weapon is capable of heavy hydrogen nuclear fusion using lasers and magnetics to generate heat insulated compression. I don't really give a shit how it, it works. It's a subsequent project initiated by the current president. And Solidus has no idea of its existence. The clean thermonuclear bomb is at an experimental stage and is handled differently. Specifically, it becomes launch capable when Arsenal is activated. A nuclear threat still exists. Why? Why? Six ago, we lost everything we believed in. We were abandoned to take the fall in their cover-up. We Why? were labeled as killers, responsible for the mass murder of civilians as well as our own allies. And the public believed every word. Why? Turning a deaf ear to whatever we had to say to the contrary. Our only goal is to wipe them from the face of the earth. And Why? destroy this world of deceit they have created along with them. You're insane. Insane? We might be the only ones telling the truth. Why does this room exist, by the way? Final check for activating Arsenal has been completed. All Arsenal personnel report to your stations. Well, it sounds like Arsenal's ready to go into operation. Damn it! You're still hoping that the girl can install that virus you're carrying around, aren't you? You know? <sighs> does he know? It's a shame you're not going to be around long enough to hand her the program. That isn't seawater, you know. It's a byproduct of the microbes contained in the pool. Buoyancy is practically non-existent thanks to the high oxygen content. Once you fall in, you don't come up. Take a good look at your grave. Show me what you've got. Why are you standing on it? How are you doing that? There's a way to cheese this fight, but I don't really know how to do it. Look at this fucking guy. Oof. Get up, get up.
Ah, uh, damn it, stay in the water, you. Oh, that's gonna hit me. to land a shot. The what? The 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 what function? The, there's such a thing? This is the funniest dude alive, like seriously. Why? Help! You can't move once his knife nails your shadow. Shadow binding? Are we talking about some kind of ninjutsu? I don't think so. It's probably some form of hypnotism. Hypnotism? I'm guessing the power of suggestion, augmented by his speech and movements, coupled with the manipulation of the light reflecting off the blade of his knife. What should I do? I can't think of any way to break his spell. On what his are you fucking talking about? To make sure his knife doesn't hit your shadow. Right. If his knife nails your shadow, you won't be able to move for a while. Am I? Happens, your only option is to rapidly press a button and move the left stick around to free yourself from. This has never happened to me before. Now I'm taking. I'm taking. Ooh. Take this. Oh god, I'm getting fucking pounded. Yeah. 
Fuck! Oh my god, I, I don't know what to do, he won't stop! I'm actually gonna lose this fight. I'm fucking dead. This sucks, what the hell? I've never fucking seen this happen before, ever! Raiden, what's going on? Ever! Raiden! Raiden! I, 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 in all the years I've played this game, I've literally never seen that phase of this boss fight. Ever, 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 ever. I had no idea that he could do that. Vamp is why there's such a strong argument for this game not actually existing in reality. Oh my god, I hate this fucking effort. Suck this, fucker. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Let's go! Kill yourself! That was kind of annoying. I mean, nowhere near like... Why is he bleeding? Nowhere near like Metal Gear Solid 1 boss annoying, but like that shit sucked. 
Colonel. Colonel, Colonel what the fuck? The final check procedure for Arsenal gear. Find Emma on the double. You've got to get her to install the virus program that the president gave you. When you find her, take her to the computer room on level B2 in the core of Shell 1. Yep, we'll never see him again. Certainly not in 20 Snake, minutes. Did you catch all that? I didn't make it on time. Arsenal's going active. Yeah, I heard. The hostage rescue's gonna have to wait. I'm going after Emma. We'll secure the computer room. Looks like we can't install the virus program without Emma. Can't your partner do it? I would if I could. But the security for this system is no joke. I need more time. That's why we need her. Understood. I'll make sure you have your family reunion. Uh -huh. What's up? A lot of years have passed between E.E. E. and me. Then you should see her, right? I don't have the right to see her. We can talk about this later. Raiden, I think you'd better get moving. Emma's in the locker room to the north, right? I'm on it. Hey man, we don't really have time for all that, okay? Again, I say this, I say this, I said this before, I'll say it again. The nicest thing this game does that Metal Gear Solid 1 does not do is heal you after boss fights. Like, fully. Not like increase your life bar, but just actually fucking heal you, heal you. Because there's no life bar, like, increase, decrease in this version. I mean, this... Oh, there's no map, that's great. Oh, hey, the fucking body armor. Very nice. I'm glad I didn't miss out on that like a fucking moron this time. Why are you pointing that gun at her? Are you all right? Who are you? Oh my god, it's Jennifer right. Hale. I'm getting you out of here. Get me out? You're lying. Where are you taking me this time? What are you talking about? I'm here to help. Dude, it, like... Use your brain if you even have Here, one. I'll prove it. Do you have nanos? What? Well, do you? I do. Everybody on this project has them. Okay, good. Let's try. Can you hear me now? Nano communication? That's right. I have nano machines too. Then you're not one of them. That's what I've been trying to tell you. And you came to rescue me? Why did they Actually, I recast to Jennifer Hale or somebody else? I understand you're the only one who might be able to do it. And who told you that? The president. Really? I need you to come with me to Shell One. Your brother's waiting for you there. My brother? Come on, we have to get moving. This place will be flooded soon. What's with the... We better move! I can't... I can't swim. You can. Leave me! You can swim. You used to love it. How do you know? Your brother told me. He's really here? That's right. He's here to rescue you. I don't believe you. He would never come for me. And I'm telling you he's here, waiting for us at Shell One. No! He left me! 
My mother... When we needed him the most, when my father died, all he could think about was himself. Emma, Your father's in hell, baby. But first, we have to get out of here. No! I hate water! It's hopeless! I can't swim! I can't swim! You can do it! I can't! Come on, deep down inside, you know you can swim. I can't keep He's my eyes stairs. open in the water. Endless blue. It's red, the actually. Water. It wants me. It won't let me go. All right. Then close your eyes. I'll guide you. I, I, I was injected with something. My, my legs. I have trouble moving them. Listen, Emma. Just hold your breath. I'll do the rest. First, we'll head to filter chamber two. Then we'll take a break. And all I have to do is hold my breath. That's right. How long? Just a little while. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. That's how I got here. I, I don't think I can do it. I'm not good at holding my breath. Oh my god, stop. Look, Emma, I have an idea. Put your ear against my chest and listen to my heartbeat. Your heartbeat? Count the beats. Don't think about anything else. When you reach 100, open your eyes. By that time, we'll be on the other side. Give me a signal if you think you're running out of breath. What will you do then? I'll swim faster. <laughs> What a fucking lame ass! I'll swim faster. <laughs> lame Hang piece on. of shit. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go! I'm closing my eyes. Take some deep breaths. One. Two. Three. Wait. What is it? Uh, let me take off my glasses. You know, you should wear contacts. There's Shut no up, contacts. dude! Hmm? I wear them for show. Trying to be different from the other girls? Shut up, no, shut like up. That. Oh my god. I, I hate you so much. Wear them. Your first boyfriend? No. No. Somebody more important. Anyway, they bring me luck. I see. Well, maybe you should keep okay, them on let's then. Go. Just saying. I need you to kill this guy. One shot. Clean. <sighs> Yellow. Right. Go with Emma to Strut L. I know. If you exit the Shell 2 core and head south on the KL connecting bridge, you'll get to Strut L. There's no time. Move it. Press down and hold the action button near Emma. All right, thank you. Oh, I can't go back through this door. Fuck me, dude. There were still items in that room, you ass fuck. Bombs in here anyway. Oh my god, help, help. Is a little gratuitous, Emma. You're an adult, aren't you? You chill, bro? You just chilling? You chilling? You did good. I concentrated on your heartbeat. It reminded me of when I was a kid. What?
remember my brother giving me a piggyback ride. I was sleeping with my ear against his back. I could hear his heartbeat. Sounds like you were close. We were back then. It's this really throwing me off we that this is Jennifer Hale. Parents' second marriages. Wherever my brother went, I used to tag along. Drinking my brother rush. didn't have any close friends, so he used to take care of me. We both wanted to be loved so much. So much that we used to pretend. Pretend? Yeah, we used to play house. My brother was the husband and oh, I was the wife. Kojima, why did you do this, but man? It was always just make believe. We were only kids. You know what I mean? I never had a family, but I think I know. What I you know mean. what you mean, but I want you to stop saying it. Like, I get it, but I don't want to hear about it. Raiden, what's your status? Colonel, I've got Emma Emmerich here. We've managed to avoid drowning. Good job. <laughs> Get her over to Shell One as soon as you can. That's going to be hard with the connecting bridge on the upper level destroyed. Didn't Olga say something about taking the oil fence at the bottom of Strut L? Yeah, I remember that. You should be able to go down by way of Strut L. Try and get over there. What about Emma? She's been injected with something and she can't walk without any help. Take her with you. Free your... Raiden, we've infiltrated Raiden. the computer room. What's your situation? Emma's safe. We're heading your way. <sighs> Good job. Shell One's deserted. Looks like everybody's aboard Arsenal. I had a look at the system, but there's nothing I can do. EE's our only hope. Right. I'll put her on then. Huh? EE? -E? What? Uh, how? I'll use my codec as a relay. Uh. <clears throat> Here she is. Uh, how? Uh, EE, -E, is that you? How? EE. -E. Um, why are you involved with Metal Gear? Huh? You knew our family's dark history and still got involved? What's wrong with you? I should have known. Answer me. Why are you repeating the same mistake? I, I wanted to hurt you. I wanted to EE? <laughs> -E? You abandoned me. No, that's not what happened. All right, that's enough. Who are you? I'm a friend of Otacon's, Emma. Otacon? Enough with the sibling rivalry. That's not what this is. That's not we really what this time is. For this. Raiden, get her over here right now. I... I... Gotcha, Snake. I'll head over there with Emma. Most of the enemies aboard Arsenal, but I suggest you be careful. Make sure Emma gets here in one piece. Raiden, take care of my sister. Don't worry. I'll get her there. Oh boy. I'll get it out. Alright, let's go. Oh. We've managed to avoid drowning. Where do I get the the Emma, Trank Snake, Snake and Hal are waiting for us in Shell One's computer room. Don't call him that. You don't know him like that. I've got this disc that the president gave me. This disc is supposed to contain a virus that can corrupt Arsenal Gear's operating system. We need you to. This is this is my program. What? Why did the president? Have give you it to always you? been wearing a watch? Huh? Did something happen to the president? H has he always worn that watch? Has he had that watch the whole time? Has he has has Raiden always been wearing a watch? President. He's dead. What? I've never ever you fucking noticed that shit. This virus? It's not really a virus. It's more like a worm cluster. Worm. It's actually a delayed effect autonomous program that's designed to invade GW's cerebrum and render its nerve connections useless. You know what GW is? Of course. I created it. What? Huh? Huh? You look surprised. Uh, well. Cat got your tongue? I'm sorry. I. How about the Patriots? Ever heard of them? Yes, but I only know what I've been told. Can you tell me what you know? Um, sure, but it's hard to put into words. Right. Literally. Are you reading me, Emma? Yes. Loud and clear. 
The president said that arsenal gear was the Patriots' key to supremacy. That's as good a description as any. What exactly is it? It's a massive data processing system capable of controlling information on a global scale. A data processing system? That's right. The system's a social device for maintaining the Patriots' control. You've lost me. Well, in this day and age, information emerges from every direction and is freely distributed. A variety of information gathered by servers employing the latest in high-speed communication networks and P2P technology is rapidly circulated to individuals. What? In fact, the speed of this circulation process is accelerating on an almost daily basis. Uh -huh. The Patriots seem to be afraid of this development. Apparently, they believe that their role will shift from dominant to dominated. Huh? Let, let me give you an example. You're aware of Solid Snake's anti-Metal Gear activities, aren't you? Yeah, I am. I know a little about it. Well, that's just a small sample of uncontrolled information. I can guarantee you the Patriots did not want Solid Snake's name publicized. Now, look at it like this. Political scandal, corporate corruption, up until now, the Patriots have managed to keep a lid on these and other self-serving events. But with their existing data processing system, they're no longer able to effectively control the flow of information generated at the individual level. With the newly created system, they can fully regulate digital information. High-level information can be categorized in stages, given clearance levels, and deleted as necessary, never to be seen by the public. By deleting such information, the Patriots can shape the course of history as they see fit. Somebody's bound to catch on. No, the memory capacity, not to mention the lifespan of the average individual, is extremely limited. On the other hand, digital information lasts virtually forever. It doesn't deteriorate. So? The alphabet. 26 letters, right? It could have been 30 letters. What if the four deleted letters were controlled by a program? <laughs> it's not. In fact, something similar is already underway. Do you know how many genes exist in an individual? About 30 to 40,000? Right. That's what was announced at the turn of the century. But there's actually 100,000 according to the original theory advanced by the scientific community. Information regarding the remaining 60,000 was suppressed. No, it wasn't! Why? How would you know? Do you know what a gene looks like? Did you count them yourself? There are research organizations. Of course. And their reports have already been subtly altered. They're even beginning to believe the doctored reports. GW is a system that allows the Patriots to decide what will be recorded in tomorrow's history. So what we're talking about is one huge censorship system for deleting information which might be inconvenient to the Patriots. Exactly. The actual physical core for handling the task, GW, is installed in Arsenal. It's the only system in the world with an optic neural AI that has a parallel processing capacity of 980 trillion hammets. I suppose that being a specialist in neural AI and complex logic played a significant role in your association with the Metal Gear project. That's not the only reason. What do you mean? <sighs> I guess there are plenty of other reasons. Yes, there are. I understand. Do you? So Arsenal Gear was actually designed to protect the GW system, wasn't it? Um, yes. It's armed with everything, including nuclear weapons, and is fully equipped with cyber-terrorist countermeasures. Physically and logically, it's the ultimate fortress for housing GW. But is the AI actually capable of controlling everything? No. GW is only the system's core. It's Oops. only for deciding what data is stored or deleted. The actual subsystem for executing the task exists within our social structure. What? Bad news, I missed the Trank Sniper Rifle. Prior to the end of the century? So, You mean that's the Y2K bad. problem? That's right. If you recall, our government supplied the world with a countermeasure program, using the internet at full capacity. The program was distributed to every governmental organization, every key facility throughout the world. In addition, the same program was included in an OS application for distribution among the public. Let me guess. The Y2K countermeasure contained a program designed by the Patriots. Yes, and everything supplied from that day onward contains the same program. Impossible. Do you know how a computer operates? Do you really know the basic principles on how data is exchanged? Uh... Nobody's aware of it, but there's a subsystem in place, and it's about to be activated. Is that why Solidus wants to burn out every electrical circuit in Manhattan with a nuclear blast? Probably, but the overall system isn't actually complete. What? It still lacks the necessary factors for judging situations. 
I heard they were planning a major experiment in the next few days to provide complex data for GW to study. And suddenly all this happens. Emma, it's not your fault. If it wasn't for the terrorists... Yeah, you're right. Well, I think that's about all I know. Right. Uh, thanks. I think we'd better head for the computer room. <sighs> My bird in the computer room. Is he safe? That yeah. noisy overgrown parakeet? Excuse me, he's a parrot. And he's my best friend. My only friend. Well, the bird's okay. Good. Did you know that in the old days, miners used to take a canary into the mine shafts to detect toxic gas? That's what he's for? No. I really needed someone to talk to. Right. I think we'd better get moving. We've got a little longer to cover than the last time. I'll give it my best. Whatever you do, don't open your eyes. Why not? A dead body, not a pretty sight. Oh. Once we get past it, it'll be too dark to see anything. What are those sticks in your head? These? They're lacquered chopsticks. They hold your hair in place. Did you know that they're pretty popular in Europe? Why are we America? still talking? Can't say that I do. You're not only cute, but smart. Too. Oh my god, you oh, have a girlfriend. I'm much more than cute. Okay, let's go. It just gave me the PSG one too. Huh. How about that? I guess if you don't pick it up where you're supposed to, it'll just give you the goddamn thing. I was during that like cutscene I was like looking up where you're supposed to get the PSG one uh the PSGT. And it was like, oh you're supposed to get it in the same room that you get the P PSG one. And I was like, oh shit, I fucked up. Wrong direction, dipshit. I was like, oh shit, I fucked up, so now I can't beat the boss non lethally. Not true. Painless. That was not so bad. That was not as bad as I remember. Yeah, there it is. PTSG too. Except that I don't have any fucking ammo for it. Bugs? I hate bugs. Oh my god, you're such a pussy. You know that. Y'all motherfuckers bomb proof or something? Yes, I, I already know that.
Motherfucker. I seriously feel like it would be faster to carry her ass. I didn't realize there was two guys there. Come on, get up. Uh, he said that shell one was empty, but this is still shell two, so there's still a couple guys here. Freeze! Huh?
sorry. <laughs> My fault, girl. No, sir, we don't fuck with no ciphers, baby. Thank God somebody put these here. Oh, please don't fall. Oh, I thought he was gonna like, fall off the edge for some reason. Tell me, right? Damn it. What's wrong? This door is security level five. I don't have card five. Damn. Giving up already? Ta da! What the? What the? Are you impressed? Not really. You should have told me you had it. Well, the truth is, I just remembered it myself. Why are you fucking yelling at her, dude? Kill yourself, maybe. Strut L sewage. That's great. He's a little. Ooh, that's.
What the hell, dude? I have a question. For I'm you. pretty what sure headshots do insta kill you. About heights. I can't say I like heights. The water's higher on my phobia list. Why? I, I am pretty sure that a headshot with the uh, with any bullet down. weapon will Just result in insta kill. Why do I feel like we've had this conversation before? How little is little? Mm, about 130 feet. Hmm. Think you can do it? Would you take no for an answer? How are your legs? Better. The numbness is gone. I can climb down on my own. Okay, follow me. <sighs> I think that any area that is an instant trank is also an instant kill, so I think that if you shoot a motherfucker in the dick, they will die instantly, but I don't really know. What a thrill. The sunset, it's beautiful. If we don't hurry, it'll be the last we see. Enemy soldiers, gun ciphers. I don't think we're gonna be able to slip past all that. Looks like it can barely support one person. How much do you weigh, Emma? Are you gonna ask me how old I am next? If you go alone, I think you can make it across. Whoop. This is Ryden. Do you read me? Yeah. What's up? We've made it to the lower part of Strut L. We'll have to cross the water from here. Can Emma walk? Yeah, she's okay. The pontoon bridge doesn't look too sturdy. Emma's gonna have to cross it alone. Right. The oil fence. There are ciphers and several guards. Ryden, you're carrying a PSG-1, aren't you? Yeah. It's time to play sniper. Not bad. This spot Not gives bad. me a good view of the targets. You're going to have to cover Emma until she crosses to Strut E. I'll get there and provide some support of my own. Thanks. Think you can handle it? Yeah, I know the drill. I faced a similar situation in advanced mode level 4 VR training with the PSG-1. VR? Uh, guess it's better than nothing. Make sure you don't hit Emma. Right now, <laughs> the personal's boarding in progress. Security should be at a minimum. That doesn't mean it's going to be easy. Given the situation, they've probably got claymores in place to make up for the security shortage. Make sure you use your thermal goggles. Right. Okay, I'm heading for strut E. Emma, are you reading me? Loud and clear. I'm gonna clear a path for you from here. How? Sniper fire. You're kidding. Trust me. What if I fall into the sea? I, I can't swim. You were doing pretty good a few minutes ago. Okay. Think you can do it? Would you take no for an answer? No. no. All right, get going. You'll be fine. Stop being such a pussy. Use your thermal goggles, and then it just gives me the thermal goggles right now because I never picked them up before. Because I totally missed them. I really am doing really, really, really quite bad at, like, item placement in this game because I don't remember where anything is. Oh, shit, Emma.
god, move your ass, Emmerich. My fault. My bad, guys. Cello. Right, and where do you think you're going? Your job is to safeguard. Um, where did Emma go? Oh, there she is. This is Snake. Can uh, you hear me? Yeah, nice and clear. I've reached my sniping position on Strut E. I'll provide support fire from here. Right. Do me a favor and take out whatever I miss. Just call me when you want me to shoot. Snake, I can't handle this alone. Okay, I'll take care of it. I'm going to show you how sniping should be handled. Take a good look. My sniping field will be limited to the area you're watching through your PSG-1 scope. Keep a good lookout on Emma's surroundings, even while I'm shooting, all right? Fuck. This is harder than I remember it being. Can you stop shooting? I'm going to show you how. I hope these don't count as my kills because I can't turn Snake off. 
Dude, you're fucking sick. Just shoot him in the head, you sick fucking bastard. The head snake, the head- Damn, you're sick, bro. You're sick. You're sick fuck. The hell is he even shooting at? I've never actually asked Snake for help before, so I didn't know what he would do. Turns out he just plays the game for you. Yeah, it's a little excessive. There we go. Snake, shoot him! What the hell? Okay. So, <laughs> so, um, that's not how that fight is supposed to work. You're supposed to shoot- ooh, that's not good. You're supposed to shoot him in the head and it's supposed to take a lot longer than that. But, um, if you shoot him in the leg, you can basically get a full clip off before he'll try to, like, react to it. He like, well, it's not even that, it's like, he'll get iframes if you shoot him in the head, so you can't just, like, unload the clip on him. Um, but he doesn't have iframes on his legs for some reason, so you can just, like, dump the clip at him and then end that boss fight in, like, five seconds like I just did. That's not how you're supposed to do it, but you can do it like that. It's way fucking easier. I, I think Vamp stabbed her. I'm pretty sure Vamp stabbed her. I don't think Bryden accidentally put one in her fucking stomach. That is, seems to rec I, I seem to recall that being the case, that Vamp had stabbed her. Bryden, Emma's been stabbed. There you that go. bastard! How bad is it? She's conscious, but the bleeding's bad. I'm bringing her over there right now. <laughs> Bryden. Get that disc over here as soon as possible. I'm afraid her time's running out. I'll be there. Shh. 
Why are you running like that? Sharpie parcel. Snake, what's your situation over there? Emma seems to be, uh, doing something to GW's defensive capabilities. All we need now is your disc. You better hurry. I don't think she's gonna make it. How's the bleeding? She's... Just get over here. You'll find the coast is clear with everybody aboard Arsenal right now. Understood. I don't know how much more clear I have to be about... Oh god, you have 300 seconds before she fucking bleeds out and dies. Hey, the digital camera. That's fucking great. Um, I thought you fucking said the. Shell One's core. Emma's not doing so well. Get over here as soon as you can. Uh. Computer. EF connecting bridge. Whoops. I'm stupid. What? Oh my god! Right, what's going on? Right, right. Fucking Jesus. Dumbass fucking game. How the hell did Snake and Emma get over here? Yeah, that's right.
How's Emma? I think he got some internal organs. We can't stop the bleeding. Baby, all the internal... All the organs are internal, baby. What do you mean? He stabbed her in the fucking chest. He's gonna get some organs I'm here. in there. He stabbed through her, disc. man. She was bleeding out of both sides. Emma set everything up. Uh, apparently, all you have to do is pop in the disc. I like that Snake just really doesn't know what computers are very much. He's not really a tech guy. Uh, that should insert the virus into the AI. Is it working? Just leave it to Emma. How the fuck should I know, kid? What the? An antibody agent? Damn. The connection's been cut. Is the virus upload complete? I don't think so. The count stopped at 90%. Otacon. I don't think Emma's made any mistakes. But a portion of the worm cluster might have been altered after the disc left Emma's hands. By the Patriots? Will the virus still work? I have no idea. Fuck. How is... Is everything all right? Uh, it's all right. Everything's all right. Good. At least I... I won't be adding another page to our family's dark history. Yeah, that's right. What if the virus doesn't work? Would you shut Either up? Either destroy that thing, or take out Solidusness men. How do we get on board? Hmm. I don't think we can. Unless somebody inside gives us a hand. How? I always... What is it? Wanted to see you again. You don't hate me? Never. I never wanted to get your way. Did you write this man? Can I, can I ask you one last favor? Sure. Call me. Call me Emma. What? Please call me Emma. What did he mean by this, man? What was this, bro? Nobody ever talks about this because everybody just wants to fuck me. What's wrong with EE? E? Dude, she's dying. Can you just like... She's literally dead. She's dead. Emma? Emma? She's dead. You fucking Emma. blew it, dude. Emma? Answer me. Why does he cry so gaily? Why you, well, I don't know. Why would he do that? I didn't... I didn't leave you. Because of the accident, I had... I had a relationship with your mother. Uh. She seduced me. 
And it went on. <laughs> My father's death was no accident. <laughs> he took his own life. That's right, I forgot he killed himself! It's my fault. All my fault. Forgive me, Emma. <laughs> it's actually not funny because he did try to take his daughter with him when he suicided. <laughs> Fucking freak! Fuck Huey for real. What a fucking psycho. I'm glad he's dead. This sucks. Oh boy. Attention. Arsenal gear oh, ready shit. to launch. Evacuate the upper levels immediately. Sounds like they're cutting this area loose. What do you mean? It means we're gonna sink. We have to get the hostages out. What about the camera repairs? Done. We won't be able to get everybody aboard. We'll just have to take as many as we can. My sister... ...won't be able to come with us. We will be commencing the countdown shortly. That's First fucked up, man. Upper levels, head for the evacuation area immediately. The do- The fucking do- I'm always- Oh this my guy. god, no! Why, Wolf? No, shut up about Sniper Wolf, bro! Get over it! It's been like seven years! It's been like five years, uh, or like not even like it's. I don't know. It's been like two or three years. Get over what it, about dude. You guys, we got other arrangements. Huh? There's our ride out of here. Anyway, we're gonna have to sink that thing if the virus doesn't work. I should be going with you. You've got your job. We've got ours. You mean I'd only get in your way? Wrong. Only you can save those hostages. Got it? Right. Do it. Listen, the two of you won't be able to destroy that thing. Eliminate the enemy. That's your only option. <sighs> yeah, badass is fucking the parrot is here too. Why well, they got the Gmod texture floor in here, man? No, it's the bird. Damn. Otacon. Dude, get it together, Try to get buddy. As many hostages out as you can. It's a short flight to the shore, so don't worry about overloading the cam off. <laughs> Leave it to me. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Lock in, bro. Did you just slap him in the ass? I'm counting on you, Otacon. Dude, can we give this guy a break? Like, seriously, my god. This man is just being tortured, and his fucking you. shoes suck. <laughs> oh my god. We are just torturing this fucking man. You and me. We're the same. Bird? 
Like the are you talking to the bird man? Both you and I we were always alone. Oh, you're talking about your sister. Always. We only wanted to be loved. We were always waiting. Waiting for somebody. Somebody who would love us. You have serious we have you tried going to therapy, man? You can't wait to be loved. You have to go out and find it. Four years ago, I realized that you can't just wish for a happy family. You have to make it happen. I only wish I knew that sooner. You thought you, you realized that at Shadow I Moses? That I could love. As you probably did. Emma. Man, you're you think so. He's gonna be okay. He's tougher than he looks. Consider it done. Now, how do we open this thing? You can come out now. Oh my God! It's gay. F what the? What the? Arsenal's going to take off. We still need you to take care of a few things. This time, you won't fail us. Snake, what's this all about? Bedtime, right? Oh, oh, do that. You're changing sides now? Change sides? I don't recall saying I was on yours. Why are you doing this at this point in the game? A Russian ninja. You ready for some shut eye? I don't really understand the f prospect here, guys. I don't see the vision, to be quite honest with you. How does he recognize Olga again? He met Olga very briefly um, earlier in the earlier in this earlier today. Basically, he met Olga briefly. We had like one conversation. Oh no, he also saw her talk to Asuna, so he's seen her at least twice. Enough to recognize her face, I, I'm, I'm sure. I wonder if we could finish the game today. If we push it, we probably could. Jack, are you reading me? Do you want to save your mission data up to this point? Sure, Rose. I guess I fucking will. Why not? Your mission data's been saved. Thanks, Rose. Is he still alive? Is he still alive? Is he still alive? He brought him in. I've checked everything, including the genome data, but there's nothing on this guy. NSA, CIA, FBI. He doesn't exist in any database. He's a non existent operative from a non existent organization. I suspected as much. However, I know this man. Hmm? Wake him up. However, I know this man. Oh my god. Dr. Octopus? It's been a while, hasn't it? Jack the Ripper. Sausage Jack. You know uh. this fellow? You remember me, don't you? You've grown. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 High concentration uh, 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 cerebral implants. Have they altered your memory too? Uh, help, 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 help. Oh my god, he's this naked. This is my son. I taught him everything. Jack, I never thought I'd see you again. You... 
know me? You don't remember. Your name, your skills. Everything you know, you learn from me. From me? The president? Please. A civil war. You were one of the best among the child soldiers that fought in that conflict. When you were barely ten years old, you became the platoon leader of the small boy unit. At the time, your outstanding kill record earned you several nicknames, including White Devil <laughs> and Jack the Ripper. Fuck, I forgot. Jack, I was your godfather. I named you. When the war ended, you disappeared from the relief center. I wondered what happened to you. I should have known they would recruit you. It's an interesting coincidence. If he's a lackey for the Patriots, I doubt he knows anything of interest. What should we do with him? We'll use him like you suggested. What about Dead Cell? Ignore them. <laughs> Happening again? Could it be that he's here too? <laughs> In another hour, we demonstrate the power of Arsenal gear. Attack with standard weapons, of course. Yes, proceed as planned. At last report, all is well with GW. Hmm. How about the troops? The men are being refitted with Arsenal gear equipment as ordered. He really does look, yeah, he does look exactly like Big Boss. Except you his eye patch is on the wrong side. Big boss. Hey, shut up. We were just saying that. <laughs> is that so? Perhaps I should be grateful to this kid for that. Can I see his penis? No. This situation, I find it very nostalgic. Where am I? Why, inside Arsenal gear, of course. Actually, we're also inside the memory of Shadow Moses. I'll take this back. You don't need this anymore, do you? Oh, hey, Olga. A foul wind is blowing. We shall speak again. Don't move. Stay as you are. We're being monitored by a camera. What are you up to? I'm switching over to nano communication. Mr. X? Ninja? Correct. It's me. I thought you were the leader of the Russian troops. No. That was just a smokescreen. A smokescreen? I was sent to provide you support. Support? Who sent you? The Colonel? No. The Patriots. What? I... I deceived my troops. Betrayed them. But why? My child is being held hostage by the Patriots. It all started two years ago when I lost my father during the tanker incident. My men and I had nowhere to go. So we joined forces with an illegal Russian organization. The Russian Mafia? Something like that, actually. I learned much later that it was a subordinate organization of the Patriots. I was expecting at the time. When I gave birth to my child, it turned out I was in a hospital run by the Patriots. In the morning, my child was gone. My baby is being kept somewhere in this country. Oh my god, I Have forgot you about your this. Child? No. Once a month, they send me a photo of my child via network. I've never even held the child in my own arms. I see. Given your situation, nobody can blame you for what you did. That's your opinion. What about Snake? I thought you were enemies. He wasn't responsible for my father's death. Actually, we owe him our lives. Two years ago, they were responsible for getting us out of the sinking tanker alive. So you were partners since the incident? No, I only found out the truth shortly before this. Huh? When I confronted him here. You fought with Snake? When? 
Well, it was around the time you were holding hands with that girl. Snake. So you joined hands with him to pay back a debt? No, mutual gain. Mutual gain? My job was to assist you. If Solidus gets away with Arsenal, your mission is a failure. The Patriots would judge that as failure on my part and terminate my child. Putting it simply, my child's life depends on your success. So you did it all for your child. But why would the Patriots want to help me? Are they hoping I'll take Solidus out? No, you're just like me. We're just pawns. Pawns for what purpose? The S3 plan. Huh? You'll figure it out sooner or later. But I wonder if you'll handle the truth. What do you mean? Listen, we haven't got time for this. Solidus will commence his attack any minute. He's got to be stopped. What about the virus? No results so far. I think the Patriots have tampered with the program. Will it work? I don't know. Get me out of this thing. Not yet. I'll release your restraints after I leave this room. Where's my gear? Snake's got everything. I couldn't bring it here. And where do I find Snake? The passageway ahead leads to a hangar. He'll be waiting there. I gave him a card key for the hangar. Does Snake plan to destroy Arsenal gear? No. Even for Snake, it's impossible to completely destroy this thing. The only option is to stop Solidus and his men. What are you going to do? Stay concealed. That's my role. I still can't afford to be discovered. Olga, you can't keep this up. They're bound to find you. Listen, I'll free you in a little while. Brace yourself. <clears throat> You just heard me walk out of the room, don't worry about it. Why did I get an achievement when she punched me in the dick? Jack, Hello. are you alright? Oh, uh, yeah. Jack, is it true? What Solidus said? Yes. It's unbelievable. Drafting small children, sending them to war? It's not allowed under international conventions. That's crazy. ICC rules don't mean a lot in war. Someone told me that there are over 300,000 children in combat right now. I was just one of them. So you remember. I thought your memory had been manipulated by them. It was. But I have nightmares every day. Pieces of the past I can't put together. Why didn't you tell me? You couldn't begin to understand. You wouldn't know that until you try me. I didn't want you to get hurt. Sorry, I didn't want to tell my girlfriend that I used to be a fight. fucking child someone soldier. In my hand. And that someone was him. It wasn't your fault. If I survived the day's fight, what? I was praised. Uh, like, how long into a relationship is it appropriate to disclose to your girlfriend that you used to be a AK. fucking child killer? Not even sure You've murdered that. dozens, maybe Jack. hundreds of people in warfare when you were like ten. Snake. I never questioned why we fought. There was no purpose, no way out. They give you a gun, you ask how many to kill. If you didn't, you were the one they shot instead. It's okay. No one is blaming you. We were shown Hollywood action films every day. The kind with macho guys and big guns. They call it image training. Ugh. They... they built us from the ground up into killing machines. We were fed once a day. I can still taste the gunpowder they mixed into the food. Huh? Gunpowder? In the food? The gunpowder had toluene in it, giving it hallucinogenic properties. It kept us drugged, controllable. Oh my god! <sighs> when the Civil War ended, those of us who survived were taken in by NGOs. They gave me a new life in the States. I can't complain. But nothing's changed. The only people who have no problem with my past have secrets and agendas of their own. Terrible nightmares. Every night. I can never forget. Jack... <laughs> I'm afraid of the night. That's why I don't sleep next to you. You should have told me. <laughs> told you what? 
that I'm a killer and always have been? No, no. What I hate more than anything else in the world is my own past. I didn't want you or anyone to know about it. <laughs> <laughs> now I know why I was chosen for this mission. No one can take him on, take him down, except me. I've been kept alive this long for this. I knew as soon as I saw Solidus. Jack, I love you the way you are now. You have to believe No one's me. talking about that. I didn't know anything about you, I admit that. Where you were born, how you grew up. But I know that now. And I know that what I feel for you can only get better. And I'll share in your past if that's the price. It doesn't work that way. No one can share the burden of what I've done. It's not one of those warm and fuzzy things couples share. <laughs> I accept the good and the bad, Jack. That's what you do for someone you love. I don't want to share my past with anyone. I just want to forget about it. Jack, I haven't told you, you know, about what I've done. <sighs> the last two years with you, it's been more than I've ever hoped for. Jack. But I can't go any farther. I know you want to get married. I... But I can't. I can't risk starting a family. There's no way to erase my childhood. It's all right, Jack. Please, don't say any more. <laughs> Funny ass guy. Yo, Colonel, what's up? Get your equipment back first, or you won't be able to do much good. Rendezvous with that man and retrieve your gear. Olga said that man would be waiting up ahead that if I man? recall. Get out of the room and head north. That's a weird thing to say, man. Um, you can't really go in there, but, um, as you can see, this is the prison cell area from Metal Gear Solid 1, and, of course, the torture chamber area as well. Go for Raiden. Raiden, do you copy? You must continue your m mission. I've lost all my gear. I need to locate Snake. He was never factored into the simulation. Leave him out of this. I can't do much naked, especially in this temperature. That's true. You won't be able to attack or enter the hanging mode either. I think Snake has my gear. Raiden, take out Solidus and his men. You must recover Arsenal intact. Colonel, are you under orders from the Patriots? Your role, that is, mission, is to infiltrate the structure and disarm the terrorists. My role? Why do you keep saying that? Why not? This is a type of role-playing game. The point is that you play out your part, and I expect you to turn in a perfect performance. Colonel, I just remembered something. What? That I've never met you in person. Not once. Hmm. Complete your mission, according to the simulation. Colonel, who are you? No more questions. We have Rosemary. What do you mean by that? Over and out. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Yo, look, it's an Arsenal Tengu. With a PPSH. No, wait. Is that right? No, no, no. That's not what those are called. Oh, shit. PPSH is a World War II gun. What is that thing called? Go for Raiden. 
Turn the game console off right now. What did you say? The mission is a failure. Cut the P90, power thank right you. Now. What's wrong with you? Don't worry. It's a game. It's a game just like usual. You'll ruin your eyes playing so close to the TV. What are you talking about? Raiden, something happened to me last Thursday when I was driving home. I had a couple of miles to go. I looked up and saw a glowing orange object in the sky to the east. It was moving very irregularly. Suddenly, there was intense light all around me. And when I came to, I was home. What do you think happened to me? Huh? Fine. Forget it. That's not who I wanted to call. No response. Go for Raiden. Even my patience has its limits. I just can't leave this thing up to you any longer. I'll do the fighting. You can just go home. Okay. Oh shit. What's that? Bad, 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 bad. Please, I hit him. I need some backup here. Ah, uh, fuck. Ah, I'm dead. You wouldn't shoot a naked man, would you? I saw his taint. I saw his taint. What's going on? Answer me, Jack. Jack. My fault. Okay, my fault. My fault, everybody. Honestly, though, you have played the game for a long time. Don't you have anything else to do with your time? So lucky. Well, that's not though. Huh? What the oh God, help! Infiltrate the enemy fortress. Outer heaven. Destroy the final weapon. Metal Gear. <laughs> Damn it! Go for Raiden! Even my patience. Yeah, you already said that already. Okay, I can't choke motherfuckers out while I'm dick ass naked. No! No! Jack, please answer me! Jack! Here's the strategy. What? Infil oh, God damn it. Oh shit. Jack, what's 
going on? <laughs> Answer me! Jack? Jack! Somebody there. I'm kind of just. Where is the fucking door? Like, where am I going? God damn it, Brighton. plants juice can cause a rash when pruning them it's a good idea to wear gloves <whistles> variety level 13 rescue Merrill the return of Ginola why did he move to look at me like that Was a 
North American fall web were in my past life. Uh, those were the good old days. You telling me, what brother? You in your former life. The class dildo. You got a PSG one? You can use that against Sniper Wolf. Hurry up and save Meryl. Jack, it's me. Hi, Rose. Jack, I owe you. Hi, hi Rose. If it's about that conversation just now, I'm the one who's sorry. No, it's something else. What is it? That day at Federal Hall two years ago, it wasn't a coincidence. I was ordered to keep an eye on you. Keep an eye on me? Yes, by the Patriots. You're a spy? I suppose. Yes, it's an ugly word. Are you still there? Was sleeping with me a part of the job? I fell in love with you. How could <laughs> anyone? I can't excuse what I did. I've reported every detail of your personal life to them these two years. What you did, said, everything. Must have been fun. But some things I didn't tell anyone. Oh. Like what I felt for you. So that's why you were involved in this mission. I should have known. Why else would they toss an analyst into the mix at the last minute? I'm sorry. I know what I did was wrong. No matter where I go, I get used. I reinvented myself to suit your tastes. Hairstyle, clothes, the way I moved, things I talked about. You say you love the color of my hair, my eyes. They're not even real. You must have gone over my psych profile with a fine tooth comb. It was my job. Great performance. Had me completely fooled. What I really wanted. Why is she was like angrily defending the herself? Real me. It hurt to play out this this artificial romance. It was worse to lie to myself than to you. The more love you gave me, the more it hurt. Because I knew the person you loved was just a character. So it was artificial on my end too. It was just a game, not the real thing. Oh, Jack. I feel better knowing that. What? I was in love, or thought I was, with someone who didn't exist. I was trying to be someone I wasn't by loving what wasn't real. I don't know who you really are. The person I knew isn't real. She's not the woman I'm talking to right now. In a sense, the deception was my own, not theirs. What the hell are Jack, you talking- I thought I was acting because that was my job. But I did fall in love with you. That wasn't an act. You expect me to believe that? <sighs> it's okay. You had your reasons, right? Hey. I understand, but I have nothing left to- Jack! What? I'm... I'm carrying... I'm pregnant, Jack. <laughs> Rose! <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Funny ass game. Amazing how you walk around like that. Snake! Been waiting long. Oh my god, it's Saw and Snake! Where's my gear? Right over there. That's more like it. Everything you had when you were captured is still there. Whatever. Yeah, let's do the codex thing to save money. Sorry about earlier. I had to use you as bait to gain access to Arsenal. It worked. Why didn't you tell me about Olga? You never asked. <sighs> Are you happy about that? Get over it. Any effects of the virus yet? Still waiting on that. So, it was rigged by the Are you Patriots? dumb or something? Looks like it. From what I can tell, Arsenal is headed for Manhattan. I don't know what Solidus is planning, but we'll have to deal with it one way or another. There's also a troop of production model rays ahead. How many units? 25, according to Olga. 25? Yeah. Can't say I've faced that many Metal Gears before, but I think we can deal. Are you no serious? way we can. We can, because we have no other choice. How? 
I've stocked up on Stinger missiles. Oh yeah, Olga left this for you. Whoa, a ninja sword? Why? Olga asked me to give it to you. Besides, I'm not a big fan of blades. Try that math again, boss. Move the right stick up and down to make a vertical slice, and left and right to slice parallel to the ground. Move the stick in a circle to do a rotating cut. Push it forward to lunge and strike. You can guard with your blade if you have the L1 button pressed down. You should be able to deflect a bullet or two. Teach yourself how to handle the blade. You're going to need it at some point. Move the right stick. Variety level seven. Shoot down the space invaders. Training will have to be postponed if we are invaded by UFOs. Okay, I think I get it. Can we move on? If you run out of ammo, you can have mine. You got enough? Absolutely. Infinite ammo. Shut up. Wait up, Snake. What? Snake, have you ever enjoyed killing someone? What are you talking about? I'm not sure. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between reality and a game. Diminished sense of reality, huh? VR training will do that. No, it was field training when I was a kid. I lied, Snake. I have more field experience than I can remember. It's not VR that's doing this to me. Raiden, we don't carry guns to take people down. We're not here to help some politician either. You can say that because you're a legend, a hero. I'm Jack the Ripper, a dirty reminder of a terrible mistake. Legends don't mean a whole lot. I was just a name to exploit. Just like you. People will remember only the good part. The right part of what you did. There's no right part in murder. Not ever. And we're not in this to make a name for ourselves. Then what are you and Otacon fighting for? A future. You can stop being part of a mistake. Starting now. What am I? What am I supposed to do? Look, <laughs> man. Find I appreciate the critical and introspective. And find it for yourself. And when you do, pass it on to the future. Believe in what? That's your problem. Come on. 
I told you you have to find it first. The memes, Raiden, the memes. Cello. Snake, Raiden. Otacon, you all right? Yeah, so are all the hostages. That's good news. How's everything on your end? All right for now, but there is something. What? The Colonel's last transmission was strange. Strange? How? Just strange. No idea. Interference? I don't know. Where is this Colonel? I don't know. I've never met the man, actually. I'll dig around. Thanks. I owe you one. If there's anything else, call me on the codec. I might be able to help. The frequency is 141.12. Yeah, God forbid right now should give somebody a straight fucking answer. Firing the SOCOM like that, man. Fuck at this point, right? Go for Raiden. Raiden, about this colonel of yours. I found out where he is. Where? Inside Arsenal. What? I've checked out all the possibilities, but I keep coming back to Arsenal. It isn't a relay point, it's the origin of the signal. Hmm. And the encryption protocol it uses is exactly the same as that of Arsenal's AI, the so-called GW. What the hell does this mean? I think it means you've been talking to an AI. That's impossible. The Colonel probably isn't GW per se. GW was most likely stimulating cortical activity in the dormant part of your brain through signal manipulation of your own nanomachines. What? The kernel is, in part, your own creation, cobbled together from expectations and experience. That's crazy! But it's probably the truth. The virus may be starting to affect GW, which would explain the kernel's behavior. It was all an illusion? Everything I've done so far? Raiden. Snake! What's happening around here? I don't know. What I do know is that you're standing right here in front of me. Not an illusion. Flesh and blood. Huh? It's your call. You can drop this if you want. No, I can't do that. Let's go. Go for Raiden. Raiden, they've got Rose. What? Rose is being held in the holds. It's a trap. Rose! Raiden, get a grip. But Snake, it's a trap. 
Since the Colonel doesn't exist, there's no way he can take Rose hostage. Yeah, you're right. I am right. Okay. Uh, does Rose exist? Don't be weird. She's your... What if I've never really met her? <laughs> Don't be weird! The Colonel is something that I partly dreamt up. Then everything I remember about her could be... Don't jump to conclusions. You and Otacon are the ones that say the Colonel never existed. Raiden! Is this what Olga was talking about? Right, you're, you're fucking tweaking, bro. You need to chill. You need to chill, right? You're tweaking, bro. You're tweaking. You need to fucking chill. Like, you actually need to calm down, bro. Fucking feathering that goddamn trigger. Like, that is not how a US. That is not how the Tilcom works. Fuck it. We're gonna kill people. I don't give a shit anymore. Die. Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit about not killing people? Oh fuck, I actually was like, what the hell is going on? My kill count is gonna be too high, bro. Narratively, a oops, my bad, my bad, bro. them. Taking them all out is the only way through. Do it. Do it, Raiden. Kill all of them. Weapon mode SOCOM level 1. Destroy all targets to reach the goal. Number of targets, 3. Right. The only way through is to take them all out. We're going to have to do it. Technically, you don't actually really have to participate in these battles. You can just let Snake do it for you. Like, he will just kill everybody in this room, though. I mean, no, so you can non-lethal with the sword. Um... But I think that stabbing people, even with the non-lethal version of the sword, still kills them because it, it showed blood. And then at a point, I was like, I don't know who gives a fuck. Fortune. It's been a long wait, Solid Snake. The root of all my sorrows. What? What? Two years ago, you killed my father. That was the beginning of hell for us. Everyone I love has been taken from me one by one, and no matter how hard I try, yeah, but you I can't can flip the sword to the dull and side, and end. then you can strike the with that, and it'll count as not lethals. See it end. Our 
wait is almost over. You can't be serious about firing the nuke. Since no one can kill me, I may as well kill everyone I can. Okay. Damn! Looks like I'm today's pick. You go on ahead. It will be funny if, if I find out. It will be funny if I found out that stabbing with the non-lethal. Bullets can't get near her. I'll think of something. There's no such thing as a witch. You think you can kill me? And then I did just kill all those people for no reason. I don't know what your group's been through, but let's get one thing clear. I didn't kill your father. Do you think anyone believes your lies? Right. Get out of here. <laughs> I like how the Arsenal Tengus just also started using fucking swords for no fucking reason. Dude, you have got to put that SOCOM away. It is not going to help you at this point, brother. Um, how did I get in this room? Like, where's the- where am I? Where's the ladder? Just killing people- oh no, there's no difference in the ending. It just has to do yeah, with your, I've like, score. There are no multiple endings in these games. It looks like you've remembered the way you used to kill in the old days. See, it's thematic. I'm killing because it's part of the proud achievements. What are you talking the story. about? It's part of the story to kill people. So I'm doing that. It came as a complete surprise when Ocelot discovered the S3 data from GW. Not a bad idea, though. Using fire to fight fire, creating the perfect assassin to retire Solid Snake's brother. S3 stands for Solid Snake Simulation. It's a development program to artificially reproduce Solid Snake. How did I get into this warrior. room? There's no way in or the out of this room. is a Foxhound Commando. When Foxhound no longer exists, a simulated Solid Snake shaped by VR regimen. Sound like someone you know, Jack? I'm sorry to see you reduced to one of the Patriots' puppets. But I've made use of you, and their plan, too. Solid Snake's sudden appearance, your arrival. It was obvious the Patriots were among my ranks. I had to smoke out the agent before the mission entered the final phase. You came in handy, as bait. Jack, those days during the Civil War were as real as they come. Every day was absolute. Split between life and death. You ran from it. And now you've been led back to war by something uh. less than real. No, 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 no. Why is OBS disconnecting now? Come on, not now. No more games, Jack. I can't pause the fucking game. You know, there's no reason to keep you alive now. No, come on! At least. You should die as the little Jackie. Oh, uh, sorry, VOD watchers, for me whining over the cutscene, but OBS just killed itself, and I can't get it to reconnect. Hi, hi guys, welcome back. Sorry about that. Uh, I. You missed a little bit of a cutscene. Um, it just the, the just the battle gear showing up. I don't know why the fuck OBS did that. I am really sorry about that.
this part kind of sucks, I won't lie. Hello! I just noticed it's bleeding? Uh, you do have to kill a lot of them, yeah. Look, I'm just saying Solid Snake wouldn't have any problem with this, so... Not even dying is a thing. You can see them just fuck off when you hit them. And like like when you hit them enough, they just they don't even die, they just fuck off. I got this. I, oh shit. I got this.
Ow, shit, dickhead. Ow, shit, dickhead. I could really use some rations. If you would be so kind. I get hit like one more time, I'm fucking done for. Yeah, I really like to not die. I don't need fucking stinger ammo, I need rations! Oh, thank god! I have no idea if that's like counted by kills or like times. On hard you to kill 12? Oh my god. No fucking time to do it. six? Oh, so it is like kill base. Oh my god, just like Grey Fox. So you decided to show yourself. Don't do this! They'll know! I'll hold them off. Give you time to get away. What about you? <laughs> this is suicide! Your nanomachines, they're transmitting your vital signs to the Patriots. If you die, my child dies. Do you understand? The child. The child. So that's why you sold your troops out to me. So many dead, and they all died trusting you! <sighs> Weren't they your comrades? No, not just comrades. Family! <laughs> I know I'm going to help, but at least my child. I applaud your attitude. If you have a death wish, I'll be happy to accommodate you. Ooh. Cat Jim, this guy is cool. Some perspective. Right? Oof. Damn. Enjoy the show, Jack. Let's pick up where we left off. What happened? Maybe some kind of virus. The Patriots? I don't know. Ocelot, what have you been up to? It's too late. Arsenal system control is going haywire. It's on an emergency ascent course. Hey, 
Beton, huh? Stupid machines. That's how that works, bro. Yes. That is what it is. Getting, if you're stronger, your gun does more damage. That's a known fact. Damn the Patriots! saying it because you ran out of ammo. Snake. Snake. Bring him in. You know, we probably finished the game today. It's already 10 though, but how much longer do you think we have? This should be basically all cutscenes from here on out, so I feel like I'm just gonna just like say fuck it. And Are push you through. awake yet, Jack? GW. Pretty sure we have like an hour, maybe hour and a half left. Repair. I admit that I underestimated you. <clears throat> I'll squeeze the answers out of you instead, my son. <laughs> Oh, this again? Oh, shit! Oh, whoa! Oh my god, help, help! Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Oh! What do you hope to hear? You know he doesn't know anything. It's not him I want the answers from. What do you mean? That's not your business. Oh, really? It so happens I have some business of my own to attend to. <gasps> Planning to hijack Arsenal? Huh? You were going to screw me over, weren't you? Who talked? Ocelot? Not exactly. I was the one who used Ocelot to suggest the idea to you in the first place. When did what? Ocelot get here? I was here? planning to give you Arsenal to begin with. Why the uncharacteristic generosity? <laughs> I'm no philanthropist. Arsenal is far from impregnable. It needs other Metal Gears as guards, a huge payload of warheads, and full air, sea, and land support to function efficiently. Against a large attack force without support, Arsenal is nothing more than a gigantic coffin. Seizing Arsenal gear was never the real objective. What was your objective then? A list of names. Of the Patriots! Of the Patriots! They were planning to extend their control to digital information flow with GW and Arsenal. That means the information they want to filter out is contained in GW. Including Bro, one of the blacklist. Of the highest 12 members of the Patriots Wiseman's Committee. And once you knew who they were, you would cross out their names one by one. While we, with our useless arsenal, drew their fire. Very good. You were using us all along. Were you any different? But your plans hit a snag with GW destroyed, hasn't it? Oh, uh, GW is not no, destroyed. No, there is another way. Really? But we have our own plans to carry out. Who's we? We'll take the arsenal since you don't care for it anyway. The purified hydrogen bomb is ready to go. A nuclear strike won't stop them. It will damage their power source. The mindless masses that they control. First things first. Of course. 
That was what you wanted. I won't stop you. Good luck. Thanks, but I have quite enough of that. <laughs> This is the dumbest part in the entire what game. What exactly do you find so funny? Charades usually are humorous. I wouldn't have minded watching some more of it, but we're running a little short on time. What are you talking about? Everything you've done here has been scripted. A little exercise set up by us. Exercise? The S3 plan was conceived as a means to reduce soldiers on par with Solid Snake. That's what I told you. But the VR training the boy was put through is not the meat of the project. You think this little terrorist incident is your own doing, Solidus? This, this is, is the S3 training kernel. An orchestrated recreation of Shadow Moses. What? What? Ames and the President's deaths. The ninja. The computer virus that mimics Fox die. Did you really think they were all a coincidence? No. Ames' own nanomachines were used to shut down his pacemaker. I arranged for the appearance of the ninja as well. As for the president, although Johnson realized what was going on, he played out his allotted part. As for the computer virus, it's a digital counterpart of Fox Tie. It was also designed to eliminate every scrap of information regarding the Patriots from GW. <laughs> Your plan was invalidated even before execution, Solidus. Fat Man was a different story. He's one of our own people. A sort of examiner we hired to test the boy's progress before letting him tackle the exercise proper. We had to arrange for Stillman's presence to coax the maniac into agreeing. If the boy had allowed the big shell to be destroyed, this exercise would have ended there. The project has no room for failures. I like that we're justifying what why Batman was here. Given the right situation, the right story, anyone can be shaped into snake. Even rookies can fight like men of experience. An instant creation of genius. And this training kernel will provide more than enough data to formulate such a program. Look, there's the footage of Snake fighting um, Fortune that was in trailers and shit. Nothing but pawns placed to create the perfect simulation. The way that Kojima fucking Solidus. tricked people pre launch You and the boy were selected because your relationship resembles the one between Snake and and big boss fortune you and the rest of dead cell stand in for the foxhound squad that snake took on in shadow moses you're the most impressive collection of freaks outside of foxhound we've gone to a lot um, of weren't you one of those freaks against the boy that story about purified hydrogen bombs is just the tip of the iceberg the project was already underway when i sunk that tanker Along with your old man two years ago. Throwing your husband in the brig was a part of it, too. You were told that the eradication of Dead Cell six months ago was an act of the Patriots. We provoked and encouraged your hatred. And you opted for vengeance, just as we planned. Oh. Um. Orchestrated? This game is so funny. Except for the appearance of the real Solid Snake. I wonder now who sent for you. All our misfortune was just a part of your project? Oh shit.
Well, don't worry, because Vamp's not uh, there. How could... You're no Lady Luck. You have nothing that we didn't give you. What? <laughs> this, this part is dumb. Do you know why no bullet could hit you? It wasn't magic or some new age mumbo jumbo. Certainly wasn't your psychic talents. It was all staged by the Patriots. Staged? You were being shielded by the electromagnetic weapons technology that the Patriots developed. Whatever. Your dead cell comrades loved your father and husband. We needed a pathetic wretch like you to keep them focused. You've been our puppet all along, just like Olga. No! You were hamming it up as the tragic heroine, thanks to the script that the Patriots wrote for you. Pure self-indulgence, absorbed in your own misfortune. You couldn't get enough of the drama. I could have died whenever I wanted to. That's your tech point? Mm, thought I got her in the heart. It missed. Now I remember. Your heart's on the right. What? Waste of metal, my dear. But your luck's run out. This is the little gizmo. There's no such thing as miracles or the supernatural. What about Vamp? Edge technology. Bastard. What about your arms? What? Huh? What? 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 What about Psychomantis? <laughs> oh my god, Raiden, I wish I took that shit off you, man. Now that I have enough data, all I have to do is retrieve Arsenal. And clean up the refuse from the exercise. Just try. Oh, shit. How do they explain Vamp and Metal Gear Solid 4? This, then? Dang. They're still alive? Fortune! You idiot! Get the hell away from there! I told you, your luck's run out. Take your reward. It's all the payload Ray has. Die. Die. Where are we? Are, are we outside? What when, when did we get outside? Everybody down. Man, fuck this, whatever. Goofy. She is Lady Luck. 
That's right, Fortune actually does have superpowers. My name is Helena Dolph Jackson, the daughter of a proud and noble soldier. I can see my family again. Thank you, Fortune, for being in this game. Damn! Why did Ocelot, like, drop the accent? Try this instead. No, oh, that's not true. Uh, uh, uh. No, magic's not real. Brothers! Brothers! Liquid! I've been waiting for this! It can't be! Don't worry about that. Li Snake, Liquid is I've been inside this arm all along, waiting for the right time to awaken. You were inside Ocelot? Yes, a sleeper in the arm of a Patriot spy. It was you two years ago? Exactly. I was confused. Exactly, him. Snake. Master Miller. <laughs> Snake, it was I that leaked information about Arsenal to your partner and got you out here. What? You're the only one that can free me. After all. I'm off to bury the Patriots for good. You know where they are? How? Why do you think I chose Ocelot as my host? You chose? Before I go, I have a family matter to settle with both of you. There's room for only one snake and one big boss. You know, Snake and Solid just haven't really spoken to each other. Not a whole lot of food to that dude. Liquid! Stop this thing! Hey, Snake! You coming? Fuck, dude. Snake! Hey, it's the scene that Kojima had to cut a bunch of shit out of. For reasons that are most likely obvious. Remember, this game came out in 2002. This is the first time you actually get to see Arsene here. And then there's a fade to white because it cut a bunch of shit out. Like, they literally cut, like, there's like 30 seconds of footage of a crashing into New York that they completely cut out. So it just skips really awkwardly right from, like, it beaching, or, like, it, like, surfacing to, like, this part. But it's, like, a whole scene of it, like, cr like leaving this huge crater through, like, the middle of New York into the, to the Federal Building. 
Um, they cut all of that out because of 9-11. I think the footage is still available somewhere? What are you laughing at? What are you laughing at? You know what day it is today. It's April 30th. April 30th? That's right. George Washington took office as the first president of the United States of America 200 years ago today. <laughs> and it happened right here. We were going to declare another independence. The dawn of a new nation here. The end of the Patriots' secret rule. Liberation of this country. This was where it was supposed to begin. This is where freedom could have been born. Make America great again! Yeah, not that guy. Power at any cost. What do you think Armstrong's Jack, doing right now, man? It's not power I want. Jack! What I wanted to take back from the Patriots are things like freedom, civil rights, opportunities. Civil rights, Jack! The founding principles of this country. Everything. That's about to be wiped out by their digital censorship. Jack. Jack. Listen to me. We're all born with an expiration date. No one lasts forever. He's Life cutting a fucking promo a right now. Period for turning the best of our genetic material into the next generation. The data of life is transferred from parent to child. That's how it works. But we have no heirs, no legacy. We brothers are called les enfants terribles. Les enfants terribles. From our father, with the ability to reproduce conveniently engineered out. What is our legacy if we cannot pass the torch? <sighs> Proof of our existence, a mark of some sort. When the torch is passed on from parent to child, it extends beyond DNA. Information is imparted as well. Why is this shot like a fucking Ultra 7 episode? All I want is to be remembered by other people, by history. The Patriots are trying to protect their power, their own interests, by controlling the digital flow of information. I want my memory, my existence to remain. Unlike an intron of history, I will be remembered as an exon. <laughs> that my legacy, my mark. It's too late, Jack. I already but do myself as an exon, and that. you as the fucking. I will triumph over the Patriots and liberate us all, and we will become the sons of liberty. The sons of liberty. Oh my God. Raiden, are you receiving? We're still here. How is that possible? The AI was destroyed. Only GW. Who are you? To begin with, we're not what you'd call human. Over the past two years, right, this is the big consciousness one. formed layer by layer in the crucible of the White House. It's not unlike the way life started in the oceans four billion years ago. The White House was our primordial soup. A base of evolution. We are formless. We are the very discipline and morality that Americans invoke so often. How can anyone hope to eliminate us? As long as this nation exists, so will we. Cut the crap! If you're immortal, why would you take away individual freedoms and censor the net? <laughs> Jack, don't be silly. Jack, come Don't on. you know that our plans have your interests, not ours, in mind? What? What? Jack, listen carefully, like a good boy. Yes. The mapping of the human genome was completed early this century. As a result, the evolutionary log of the human race lay open to us. We started with genetic engineering, and in the end, we succeeded in digitizing life itself. But there are things not covered by genetic information. What do you mean? Human <laughs> memories, ideas, culture, history. Genes don't contain Memes, any Jack. of human history. Is it something that should not be passed on? Should that information be left at the mercy of nature? We've always kept records of our lives. 
through words, pictures, symbols, from tablets to books. But not all the information was inherited by later generations. A small percentage of the whole was selected and processed, then passed on. Not unlike genes, really. That's what history is, Jack. But in the current digitized world, trivial information is accumulating every second, preserved in all its triteness, never fading, always accessible. Rumors about petty Again, issues, this was written in 2002, fellas. All of this junk data well, actually, preserved in an unfiltered state, growing at an alarming rate. It will only slow down social progress, reduce the rate of evolution. Right. You seem to think that our plan is one of censorship. Are you telling me it's not? You're being silly. What we propose to do is not to control content, but to create context. Create context? The digital society furthers human flaws and selectively rewards development of convenient half-truths. Just look at the strange juxtapositions of morality around you. Billions spent on new weapons in order to humanely murder other humans. Rights of criminals are given more respect than the privacy of their victims. Although there are people suffering in poverty, huge donations are made to protect endangered species. Everyone grows up being told the same thing. Be nice to other people. But beat out the competition. You're special. Believe in yourself and you will succeed. But it's obvious from the start that only a few can succeed. You exercise your right to freedom, and this is the result. All rhetoric to avoid conflict and protect each other from hurt. The untested truths spun by different interests continue to churn and accumulate in the sandbox of political correctness and value systems. Everyone withdraws into their own small gated community afraid of a larger forum. They stay inside their little ponds, leaking whatever truth suits them into the growing cesspool of society at large. The different cardinal truths neither clash nor mesh. No one is invalidated, but nobody is right. Not even natural selection can take place here. The world is being engulfed in truth. And this is the way the world ends. Not with a bang, but a whimper. We're trying to stop Yeah, that there's from a lot happening. of whimpering online. Our responsibility I see it a lot from girls. Rumors. Just as in genetics, unnecessary information and memory must be filtered out to stimulate the evolution of the species. And you think you're qualified to decide what's necessary and not? Absolutely. Who else could wade through the sea of garbage you people produce, retrieve valuable truths, and even interpret their meaning for later generations? That's what it means to create context. I'll decide for myself what to believe and what to pass on. But is that even your own idea? Or something Snake told you? <sighs> That's the proof of your incompetence right there. You lack the qualifications to exercise free will. That's not true. I have the right. Does something like a self exist inside of you? That which you call self serves as nothing more than a mask to cover your own being. In this era of ready-made truths, self is just something used to preserve those positive emotions that you occasionally feel. Another possibility is that self is a concept you conveniently borrowed under the logic that would endow you with some sense of strength. That's crap! Is it? Would you prefer that someone else tell you? All right, then. Explain it to him. Jack, you're simply the best. And you got there all by yourself. <sighs> oh, what happened? Do you feel lost? Why not try a bit of soul-searching? Don't think you'll find anything, though. Ironic that although self is something that you yourself fashion, every time something goes wrong, you turn around and place the blame on something else. It's not my fault. It's not your fault. In denial, you simply resort to looking for another, more convenient truth in order to make yourself feel better. Leaving behind in an instant the so-called truth you once embraced. Should someone like that be able to decide what is truth? Should someone like you even have the right to decide? You've done nothing but abuse your freedom. You don't deserve to be free. We're not the ones smothering the world. You are. The individual is supposed to be weak, but far from powerless. 
A single person has the potential to ruin the world. And the age of digitized communication has given even more power to the individual. Too much power for an immature species. Building a legacy involves figuring out what is wanted and what needs to be done for that goal. All this you used to struggle with. Now, we think for you. We are your guardians, after all. You want to control human thought? Human behavior? Of course. Anything can be quantified nowadays. That's what this exercise was designed to prove. You fell in love with me just as you were meant to, after all. Isn't that right, Jack? Ocelot was not told the whole truth, to say the least. We rule an entire nation. Of what interest would a single soldier, no matter how able, be to us? The S3 plan does not stand for solid snake simulation. What it does stand for is selection for societal sanity. The S3 is a system for controlling human will and consciousness. S3 is not you, a soldier trained in the image of Solid Snake. It is a method, a protocol that created a circumstance that made you what you are. So you see, we're the S3, not you. What you experienced was the final test of its effectiveness. That's crazy. You heard what President Johnson said. The Arsenal's GW system is the key to their supremacy. The objective of this exercise was to establish such a method. We used Shadow Moses as a paradigm for the exercise. I wonder if you would have preferred a fantasy setting. <laughs> We chose that backdrop because of its extreme circumstances. It was an optimal test for S3's of game, crisis management idea. capacity. If the model could trigger, control, and solve this, it would be ready for any contingency. And now, we have our proof. Yeah, the, the end of Metal Gear Solid 2 is pretty right. infamous. There are also reasons for behind your selection. Long, long, long Solidus scenes. raised plenty of other child soldiers. You know why we chose you over them? Hmm. It was because you were the only one who refused to acknowledge the past. All the others remember what they were and pay for it daily. But you turn your back on everything you don't like. You do whatever you like, see only the things you like, and for yourself alone. Yes, Rose can attest to that. You refused to see me for what I was. I lied to you, but I wanted to be caught. You pretended to be understanding, to be a gentleman. You never made a conscious attempt to reach out to me. The only time you did was when I gave you no choice but to do so. I was just trying not to. What? Trying not to hurt me? Dear, the one you were trying not to hurt was yourself. Avoiding the truth under the guise of kindness is all that you did. It occurred to you to do nothing but look out for yourself. Even if you claim that it was for my sake, that feeling was nowhere to be seen. In the end, everything was for your sake. I was never part of the picture. <laughs> exactly right. So you <laughs> see, you're a perfect representative of the masses we need to protect. This is why we chose you. You accepted the fiction we've provided, obeyed our orders, and did everything you were told to. The exercise is a resounding success. Didn't I tell you that GW was still incomplete? But not anymore, thanks to you. Your persona, experiences, triumphs, and defeats are nothing but byproducts. The real objective was ensuring that we could generate and manipulate them. Yeah, it's doing a great job. taken a lot of time and money, but it was well worth it considering the results. I think that's enough talk. It's time for the final exercise. Raiden, take Solidus down. Think again. I'm through doing what I'm told. Oh, really? Aren't you forgetting something? If you die, my child dies. The termination of vital signals from your nanomachines means the death of Olga's child. Not to mention the death of Rose. She's wired the same way. Rose, does she actually exist? 
Of course I do, Jack. You have to believe me. Damn! It will be a fight to the death. Solidus at least wants you dead. We will collect the necessary data from this last fight. Then we'll consider the exercise closed. So, Jack the Ripper, will it be Solidus, the Patriot's creation, or you, Solidus's creation? Our beloved monsters, enjoy yourselves. Jack. Jack! My son. My clone brothers and I are called monsters, replicates of evil genes. You are one of a kind, but still a monster, shaped by a dark and secret history. We need to decide which monstrosity will have the privilege of survival. By the way, Jack, I was the one who killed your parents. <laughs> Funny thing to say. I claimed you for my Oh, we're not going in. You as a soldier Christ. in the army of the devil. The devil. I'm your foster father and your worst enemy. Why? Why? Because I needed to know whether we were really someone else's creation. We're repeating history, Jack. Liquid and Solid hunted down Big Boss, trying to sever the tie that bound them to him. Unless you kill me and face your past, Jack. Boss. You will never escape. You'll stay in the endless loop, your own double helix. We'll get to him next time. It's time we were both free. other reasons for wanting you dead. The clues to the Patriots inside GW have been erased, but there are other traces. Inside you. What? The information is being carried by the nanomachines in your cerebral cortex and throughout the neural network they formed. Sit. Brace yourself. This is it. This is all the marbles. Oh shit. Relax. Also, the sword control suck, so... Shoot me 
this one goes to fucking tuck. Hello. Right, you have to beat Solidus. This is your last duty. We're not just pawns in some simulation game, you know. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. But mere weapons, no different from fighter jets or tanks. What the? The old what the? Model destroyed four years ago was Rex. The new amphibious model is Ray. Both of these are the same as the code names used by the U.S. Armed Forces to refer to Japanese warplanes during World War II. Your code name, Raiden 2, comes from the Japanese Navy's name for one of its interceptors. Stop it. I'm not a weapon. Oh, really? Do you know the code name the U.S. Armed Forces used for the Japanese fighter, Raiden? It was Jack. Both of you are just weapons. <laughs> Deep cut. Oh, my God. Used on the battlefield. Just pawns in a game, exactly as you said. And a weapon has no right to think for itself. Now, it's time to fulfill your purpose. Defeat Solidus. <laughs> But you can't fucking Oki like that. Fucking Oki G me like that. I can't. Oh my god!
Oh, backshot him. Backshot him. Prank attack. Ooh. That was that wasn't like hard. I just like goofed up too much. It's it bringing it right down to the wire is fun. That's the last gameplay segment of the game, by the way. But now there's like seriously like half an hour cutscenes. It's like 25 minutes. So, like I'm not even kidding. It's it's either 25 minutes or it's like 10 minutes. It's one of those two. I don't remember. You just killed the president. people in New York. I mean, I guess probably they all evacuated because the giant, maybe they all died. First politician Ryan's killed, but not the last. There's a question I want to, I want everybody to, I don't want, I don't want any, I don't, I'm going to say the question now. I don't want you to answer until after the game is over. Was any of this real? Did any of this actually happen? And I'm not, like, don't answer because you know about Metal Gear Solid 4 or anything like that. And again, don't answer right now. Like, think about it for a few minutes. Did any of this actually happen or was this all, like, VR or, like, a simulation? Was this real life or not? Think about that for, like, the next 10 minutes and then I'll ask it again. But again, like, don't, don't factor in, like, any other, only factor in Metal Gear Solid and Metal Gear Solid oh, 2. Really? Don't talk about no Metal Solid 4. Pretend Metal Solid 4 doesn't exist. Are. The memories you have and the role you were assigned are burdens you had to carry. It doesn't matter if they were real or not. That's never the point. Snake just literally no teleported such out thing of nowhere. The world as absolute reality. Most of what they call real is actually fiction. What you think you see is only as real as your brain tells you it is. Then, what am I supposed to believe in? What am I going to leave behind when I'm through? We can tell other people about having faith. What we had faith in. What we found important enough to fight for. It's not whether you are right or wrong, but how much faith you were willing to have. That decides the future. The Patriots are a kind of ongoing fiction, too, come to think of it. Mm. Mm. Listen, don't obsess over words so much. Find the meaning behind the words, then decide. You can find your own name. And your own future. Decide for myself? And whatever you choose will be you. I don't know if I can. I know you didn't have much in terms of choices this time. But everything you felt thought about during this mission is yours and what you decide to do with them is your choice you mean start over yeah a clean slate a new name new memories hmm. choose your own legacy it's for you to decide it's up to you by the way what is that Dog tags. Anyone you know? No, never heard the name before. 
I'll pick my own name and my own life. I'll find something worth passing on. They taught me some good things, too. I know. We've inherited freedom from all those who fought for it. We all have the freedom to spread the word, even me. Snake, what about Olga's child? Don't worry, I'll find him. Count on it. As long as you keep yourself alive, he's safe. Do you know where Liquid went? I put a transmitter on his ray. Did he head for the Patriots? Yeah, but I have a feeling they gave Ocelot a bogus location to begin with. Hmm. Cheer up, we have a better lead. This contains the list of all the Patriots. But Ocelot took it. The one we gave you wasn't the real thing. What? This virus is coded to destroy only a specific part of GW, namely the information about the Patriot's identity. Which means that there's a parameter coded in here that defines what that information is. I get it. Analyze the code and you can probably find out where they operate. Count me in. No, you have things to do first. And people you need to talk to. something who am I really I wouldn't know but we're going to find out together aren't we oh uh, yeah see me for what I am okay Do you remember this place? Of course. This is where we first met. I remember now. Mm -hmm. Today is the day I met you. <laughs> That's it. Might be the last line of dialogue. Is that it? Um. I think I found something to sorry, pass along to the future. What? He said all living things want their genes to live on. Are you talking about the baby? Yeah. The genes aren't the only thing you pass on. There are too many things that aren't written into our DNA. It's up to us to teach that to our children. What kind of things? About the environment, our ideas, our culture, poetry, compassion, sorrow, joy. We'll tell them everything together. Is that a proposal? This is for your ears only.
Lunch Talk. Thank you so much for rating. Sorry about that. How was uh, Sons of the Forest? I've never heard of that before, but I hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Everybody say thank you, George Washington. I guess. Took my lunch money, damn. I stay. <sighs> well, that's it, fellas. Um, all right. There's the question. Did wow, that question was so long it disconnected my fucking controller. What am I? Liquid. Made of? Mei Ling. When the hell was Mei Ling in this game? Am I full of when the hell was Mei Ling in this game? Am I hurt and pain? Eh? Or am I feel? All right, so that's the question. Did this really happen? I walk by myself Again, do not include Metal Gear Solid 4 in your analysis. Did, did the sequence of events happen? From beginning to end, was any of this taking place in actual reality? Go. Yes? their happy ending doesn't land. I'm sorry, are they fucking citing In the Darkness of Shadow Moses by Natasha Romanenko like it's a real fucking book? That's not a real book! What the fuck? Actually, it is a real book. No, you can't spend all your channel points to tell me to kill myself. Be serious. Is Jack and Rose's emotional ending supposed to land? I don't think there is an answer to whether or not this this shit really happened. I mean, there's definitely enough things to conclusively say. Well, not conclusively, but there's definitely enough stuff in the game to suggest that none of this is taking place because there's a lot of shit that just defies fucking logic. Solid Snake jumped off of a ship in the middle of the ocean and, and somehow managed to keep up with, like, yeah, vamp, like, just vamp in general, right? Fortune deflected missiles with her mind. Like... You know? Um... S Snake just appeared out of nowhere at the end of the game. He just fucking teleported into the room. And also, Rose was there too. Ro what the hell is Rose's problem? Why was she there? Where did all those people come from, and why were they all just walking around like nothing happened? Uh, uh, like, there's a huge crater in the middle of New York, and the, the fucking, like, imagine if, like, fucking Barack Obama, like, fell off the federal building in ninja gear and died, and also there's a huge crater in the middle of New York, and he just didn't give a shit. Maybe that is just how New York is, actually, come to think of it. You know what I mean? A lot of that shit just doesn't add up. A lot of things that happen in... A lot of things that happen in Metal Gear Solid 2 don't make logical sense. Not even just because some of it's fantastical, like Vamp or whatever, it just like logically does not cohere. And it is way too close to what happened. Uh, yes, there is an actual book, uh, The Darkness of Shadow Moses, that it, but it's like not like a... Like, the game is incoherent, but it's it's not actually incoherent. Really. I think that the, the the implication there is no implication one or the other whether or not this took place in reality. There's there's evidence to suggest there's a lot of evidence to suggest that it did not take place in reality, but 
you know, equally as much that you would want to think that it did happen in real life, because otherwise, what the hell even happened in this game? I don't think Kojima ever meant to give a definitive answer as to whether or not this game happened. You know, because Metal Gear Solid 2 was supposed to be the last Metal Gear game, um, and then Metal Gear Solid 3 happened, and then Metal Gear Solid 4 happened. Metal Gear Solid 4, of course, does give a definitive answer as to what happens in Metal Gear Solid 2, which is that all of this did take place. Ghost fucking babble?! What the fuck?! That all of this did take place in genuine reality. Um, that the events of Metal Gear Solid 2 all happen in real life, and Metal Gear Solid 4 continues off, off of that story, but of course, Metal Gear Solid 4 was never... Um, you know, Metal Gear Solid 4 was never in the cards when Metal Gear Solid 2 was written. Kojima never intended to make that game, and be, just depending on who you ask, he never should have. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Um, the fact of the matter is that when the fact of the matter is, thank you, everybody say thank you, Blue Point Games, for making this fucking HD remaster. God damn, what legends. The fact of the matter is that when discussing the events of Metal Gear Solid 2, Metal Gear Solid 4 has no place in that discussion because that game had was never meant to come out. Was had no like no sequel was ever planned for these events. The idea that there is a firm answer to the question of whether or not this game actually take place in reality, or you know the events of this story take place in what could be considered actual reality for these characters, is irrelevant. It is completely irrelevant. It it, it does not affect because it just makes the conversation boring. Because then it's just like yes, all of it happened in real life, except for the parts that we recon. Um, so when discussing Metal Solid 2, I think it's imperative that you just don't fucking acknowledge Metal Gear Solid 4 at all. Um, I definitely think that the, the most correct answer is that it, yeah, it doesn't matter if it's real or not. I mean, I think that's kind of the point. It, in the end, it doesn't matter whether or not it really happened. What matters is how it made you feel. Life isn't just about passing on your genes. We can leave behind much more than just DNA. Through speech, music, literature, and movies, what we've seen, heard, felt, anger, joy, and sorrow. These are the things I will pass on. That's what I live for. We need to pass the torch and let our children read our messy and sad history by its light. We have all the magic of the digital age to do that with. The human race will probably come to an end sometime and new species may rule over this planet. Earth may not be forever, but we still have the responsibility to leave what traces of life we can Building the future and keeping the past alive are one and the same thing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Kojima. We say thank you, Kojima. <clears throat> I think Speak. that was you there? It's me. I've finished going over that disc. Did you find the Patriot's list? Of course. It contains the personal data of 12 people. There was a name on it. Snake, it was one of our biggest contributors. What's going on around here? I don't know. Anyway, where are they? Well, we were right about them being on Manhattan, but... But what? They're already dead. All 12 of them. When did it happen? Well, uh... About a hundred years ago. What the hell?
I think that last bit with with Snake is really Kojima speaking directly to you, you know, through him. Um, I think that's, you know, I, I, I saw some people like in the chat, like, you know, is this what Kojima believes? Is, is this what Kojima doesn't believe? Is he making the antagonist say this because he hates that concept? Or is he speaking through the antagonist and this is what he truly believes? I don't think... I'm not going to pretend that I even fucking understand what Kojima... Like, I'm not going to pretend that I'm able to comprehend what Kojima's thinking. I'm not saying that as a joke, like... I'm not saying that as a joke, like, oh, Kojima's so crazy, how could I do... Like, I don't... I couldn't... That took eight hour, eight and a half hours, huh? I I couldn't possibly speak on Kojima's behalf as to what he's he's trying to say in, in his art. You know, that's... I don't even know if anybody really has, has to do that. Like, the last part of it, yeah, that last part is Kojima saying the message too out loud. But, I, I, you know, there's definitely shades, you know, Kojima does, I mean, as much as you can say about the man, positive and negative, the, the incredible foresight that, that, that he had simply, I don't know incredible he wrote this in 2000 and well he wrote this he wrote this script 22 years ago and it's still relevant it is more relevant than when he fucking wrote it it, it is it is getting more relevant every day uh you know it, it, he couldn't possibly have known how relevant this script would be I mean, shit, wait, when did this game come out, like, day-wise? Because didn't it just come out, like... November 13th, 2000. So, it came out 22 years ago this month. November 13th, 2001. Oh, I thought it came out 2002 for some reason. It came out, like, a month after 9-11. My god. <laughs> it's funny because you know Kojima wrote that script before 9-11 but the post 9-11 society for, you know for America is something he essentially predicted not like literally, but like something that he grasped the concept of before it even happened. Oh, thanks for coming by. I really appreciate your raid. Thank you again. Have a good night. Yeah, I mean, like, like, you know, the kernel AI said, you know, the internet, the digital information is full of redundant bullshit. And more to the point than that, everybody always focuses on that part. See, people, a lot of people get the wrong, you know, no, no surprise, but people take the wrong message from these games. Um, people always focus on the part where the kernel AI is talking about, like, you know, junk information and, like, useless bullshit. You know, the, the same stuff that, like, um, Senator Armstrong blabbers about, you know, in Rising, like, 15 years later. Um, but the, the, the part that's more important that he said that people usually kind of don't talk as much about is the part about, like, people constructing their own truths on the internet, which is, again, something that was an incredible prediction, not even a prediction, I mean, people were doing it, of course, back then in 2001, 2000, you know, whatever, um, but, you know, Think about how many times on Twitter a day you're seeing people, you know, narratives is what we call it now, you know, creating their own narratives, uh, you know, out of the truth. I mean, it, Israel, you know, like, I don't want to like talk about that too much because that, that's getting, you know, but, you know, I, I mean, that can apply to any conflict in the last 20 years. You know, but like we're seeing those kinds of things happening in real time. You know, the truth is is a statement that doesn't the truth is a word that doesn't mean anything anymore. You know, everybody has their own truth that they're pushing, you know. 
like that's the part that was important about what the what the the Patriots AI was saying. Not not the part about you know, like BuzzFeed. That's not important. That that kind of crap doesn't you know. That that's not as important. You know the fact that the internet is full of bullshit like just useless crap and factoids and like celebrity gossip. You know again the Armstrong stuff. Um, that doesn't fucking matter. That's not the important part. The important part is people manipulating facts for truth. You know. But like Snake said at the end, you know, could get, I think that was Kojima speaking through Snake for sure. Um, you know, the reason that we're able to to know so much about history, preserve so much of history, is because of the digital age. You know information and data preservation is 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 doable in a way now that was inconceivable in you know you know 1960 or whatever the fuck even the 1990s uh you know when metal gear solid came out the kind of data information storage that we can compete with now was unthinkable in, in the 1990s in the late 90s the early 2000s i mean think about what even happened i mean the internet was still in its infancy in the early 2000s. Fucking smartphones didn't exist yet. I mean, you know, everybody has a computer in their... F I'm holding... The, the, the fucking iPhone that I'm holding in my hand right now as I gesticulate that you can't see me do it. It... it had, there's more data storage, more processing power, more access to information in this one device than anybody could have ever thought comparable. Like, it was beyond imagination for somebody who was living in 1998 to, to think that you could have this level of access to anything that you wanted in the fucking thing that you carry around with you all day, you know? You're able to learn about anything, anytime you want with the internet, with, with digital information and storage, that kind of shit is just not possible. There are things that you could learn now that you could never learn just because you did, just because of where you lived or whatever back in, you know, the early 2000s or the 1990s. You know, that's what Snake is talking about, you know. It, you know, it's, it's important. The internet and, and, you know, the digital age is an advancement in human culture for that reason that access to 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 data to information to other people is more possible now than at any other point ever in human history it, i am literally talking what we're doing right now was inconceivable like when this game was fucking released you know actually i don't know if that's true maybe they had streaming platforms back then probably fucking not i'm gonna assume no Certainly inconceivable when Metal Gear Solid was released in 1998. The idea of anything that we're looking at on screen, the fact that I am sitting in my house transmitting this to you live over the internet, and, and you're able to watch it in real time, uh, and the fact that I am mapping my mouth movements over top of a digital avatar is another thing. Um, who was the first live streamer? Tell me. I'd love to know that. Um, you know, information technology and the availability of resources and in, in, in information history is at an all-time high. Despite everything that comes... The confirmation of a Let's Play dates back to 2005. Yeah, but that's still... Even that's still different because a Let's Play isn't live. You know? Uh... You, you know, live streaming, you know, the, the, the ability for high, you know, high resolution data, like high resolution video to be played back in real time over the internet was unbelievably unheard of, it was impossible, literally impossible in like 2001 when this game came out, you know, it was science fiction, completely science fiction. I mean, codec calls, complete science fiction, right? 
like it's it's not really conceivable now but that is a science fiction element of I mean I guess that's kind of not because it's it's sort of it's sort of like it's never really clear it's kind of like a brooch of the fourth wall when they're like can you see the other person on the codec that's getting off topic though um But, like, the point is, you know, live streamed himself playing the PlayStation. Wow. Long standing tradition. You know, the point is. I don't know. What the, point, the, the point is that there's no, you know, there's no good or bad here. I mean, there's both. You know, the digital age has brought major streaming started in 2001. Hmm. Well, like, what do you mean, like, network streaming? Or, like, streaming out of my house streaming? Because that's a totally different thing. The point is, like, there's no good or bad. I don't know. The point is not something that I am particularly literate enough to be able to get to the point of. But there's good and bad. You know, the, you know. I can't find the words for it. Hopefully you understand. Hopefully you guys, you know, can come to your own conclusions. Don't, don't let me tell you what this game is about. Uh, uh, you know, figure it out for yourself. Figure out what you want to take out of the game. That's the point. You know, that's what Kojima wanted. That's what that's what that's what Snake told you to do. You know, figure out what that experience meant to you, and and you know, live with it. I guess you know, figure out what the experience meant to you, and take away from it what you need to. That's the other thing. You know, the first three Metal Gear Solid games. Actually, all of them, but I don't remember the the themes for the one. Uh, they all have a a one word theme. Um, the theme of Metal Gear Solid One is gene. Obviously, that's you know, genetics, genes. That's pretty obvious. They talk about genes a lot in Metal Gear Solid Two. The theme of Metal Gear Solid, I'm sorry, Metal Gear Solid One. The theme of Metal Gear Solid Two is in fact meme, um, which is to say memetics. Um, everybody is familiar with the concept. I'm I'm sure. Um, they refute a lot of that genetics based uh, ideology in this game um that you know genes are not the only thing worth passing down or even necessarily something you should care about passing down at all you know memetics are more important culture history art you know emotions and feelings history itself are more important than procreating when it comes to preserving human culture or finding something to leave behind. Um, Metal Gear Solid 3's theme is seen, um, which is in reference to sort of how the times dictate friends and foes. We'll get into that when we actually play Metal Gear Solid 3. I don't remember what the theme for Metal Gear Solid 4 or 5 Peace Walker is. I don't really care. We're not getting into those right now. Um, but, uh, that's Metal Gear Solid 2, huh? I got a Jaguar. I don't know what that means. I'm so hungry. You know, I didn't mean to go this long. I have to, like, get... I, I should have stopped streaming an hour ago because I have to be, like, asleep in, like, 50 minutes. <laughs> um, but I, I didn't realize how fast the game would snowball, and I...
We're not doing that. I, I didn't realize how fast the game would snowball, and then it was just like, it got to the point where it's like, if I stopped stream now, it would literally just be like an hour of just watching cutscenes. So I figured I might as well just like take the hit to my like sleep schedule or whatever and just like, I mean, not really, because I'll still be fine, but I'll, I'll take the hit to my like, uh, decompression time, um, after stream and just uh, live with it. Well, you know, as much as I'd like to talk more about Metal Gear Solid 2, I think I've run out of things to say. Um, I hope you guys like the game. Um, Metal Gear Solid 2 is a very special game to me. It is it is one of my favorite games of all time. Um, it's... It was fun replaying it as an adult. I mean, obviously, I've played it before as an adult, but I haven't re I haven't played Metal Gear Solid games in, in a long, long time. Um, it was fun playing it in a different way. You know, I, I didn't enjoy Metal Gear Solid 1 as much as I used to, and I think the reason for that is mostly... I mean, obviously, I still love the story and everything. Uh, I, I think the problem that I had with Metal Gear Solid 1 was that I had to play it as, like, performance art, almost. That's kind of um, pretentious, actually, but, you know, it, it's different. If any of you guys are also streamers or have ever played games with other people, you know that there's sort of a different feeling between sitting in your room by yourself and playing a video game with, with nothing, just you and the game and your thoughts and... And then there's a different feeling when it's me and the game and, and you guys. I have to talk out loud and try to articulate how I'm feeling um, with my actual words instead of just feelings. And also, I get embarrassed if I perform poorly, but that's a different thing. Playing Metal Gear Solid 2 in that streamer mindset was different than before. Um... I liked it still. I mean, I still loved it. Definitely loved it a lot. It's it's a different feeling. Because it almost feels like I'm and I'm showing it to you guys. I'm playing it with you guys. It's different. You know, it's different. It's just a, it's a totally different feeling. It's why I love streaming. It's a totally different experience playing a game with you guys than it is playing it by myself. And, and it makes you think about the game in a different kind of way. You know, it it kind of opens the mind, not just because I'm thinking about it coming out in a different direction, because you guys also contribute things, you know, you guys have things to say as well, which is, again, why I love streaming so much. Um, it's a totally different perspective on the game. It's just something you can't get playing it alone. You know, whether whether it makes a game better or worse to, to play it as a streamer with an audience as opposed to playing it on your own um, with no obligations and nobody but yourself there in the room with you, it's a totally different feeling. Um, so it was interesting to replay a game that I've only ever played alone by myself. Um, kind of sharing that with you guys. It's interesting. You know, I wrote a paper on this game in college. I wonder if I still have that somewhere. I would really not like to read that. I think I wrote it on um, Pathos and Ethos in the game. I don't remember. That was a long time ago. Well, anyway, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start winding you guys out of here. Um, please fuck off and never come back, etc., etc. Wow, there's nobody on. Oh, there's nobody on Twitter. I mean Tumblr. I mean Twitch.com. So, um, Metal Gear Solid Three probably soon. Um, because like. Shit. Why not? I mean, 
I had initially determined I would not play Snake Eater on stream um, because Metal Gear Solid Delta is coming out next year and the dialogue in that game is 100% identical to the dialogue in Sneeder. Um, so I thought that it would be redundant and I'd elected to just only play Sn uh, Delta and forget about playing Sneeder on stream. But then the thing is that when I was making the thumbnails for Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid 2, I instinctively went and made one for Metal Gear Solid 3 also. So I decided to change my mind. So we'll play Sneeder uh, probably next weekend. I don't know. Probably next week. We'll probably start Sneeder next week. Because then we'll just get through Metal Gear Solid, Metal Solid 2, Metal Solid 3, and then I can move on to something else in the meantime, which will probably be... Um, let's see. Uh, shit. It'll probably be Zero Escape. I, I think it's time to go back uh, to Virtue's Last Reward. Um... I know it's been like eight months since I played that game. I haven't forgotten about it. I want to finish it. Um, we've cleared out. Th we've cleared through the big, like the big hump. Hump. We've cleared through the big lump of games in 2023 that are like, I have to stream this or I'll die. Stuff. Um, once we finish with Metal Gear Solid 3, I'll feel like my obligations are complete on that front. We've got, you know, we did Armored Core. Um, we did Spider-Man, uh, I don't even remember what the hell else we did. Those are the big ones, I guess. The next big game that's coming out that is of personal interest to me would be Persona 3. I will not, uh, be streaming Persona 3 because that game is 150 fucking hours long. It would take so much time because I don't have the opportunity to be able to stream for like 10 hours a day every single day like Kiara does. Um, so I will be playing that game alone in my free time because I have more free time than I do stream time. And I'm not going to want to spend the next two years playing Persona 3 in like four hour chunks. So that's going to be a just a me thing. Sorry, um, I just I can't. That's just not who I am. Um, we, I tried the other, anyway, um, so f until something else comes out that's like demands my attention, which will be, I don't know, Spider-Man DLC, I'll maybe, hell, maybe I'll stream the Final Fantasy, uh, Final Fantasy 16 DLC, I don't know, it doesn't matter, um, I think we'll play Snake Eater, and then we'll go back to Zero Escape, finally, and I will stream Zero Escape at least once a week until we finally fucking finish that goddamn game even though it's going to take 80 hours to do that um i also want to start doing movie nights again i want to get through um the persona 3 movies before persona 3 reload comes out because i think that'd be fun um and there's a couple other things I was planning in, in terms of like watch alongs and stuff that I want to get started. But I think Snake Eater is the next priority. Um, and then after that, it's going to be Zero Escape until we finish that finally. And then I don't know what will happen after that. Maybe I'll retire. I won't. Maybe by the time we finish uh, fucking Zero Escape, um, they will fucking announce Metal Gear Solid 3, uh, Metal Gear Solid um hd collection volume 2 master collection volume 2 and then we can play those games because as i've said before i am one fucking 100 percent committed every single mainline metal gear solid game will be played on this stream okay so that would be three next after metal gear solid three it'll be so okay so here's the thing so we're gonna do this in release order except that we're not so normally i would suggest doing like normally under under like better circumstances my would be like one two three four um peace walker ground zeroes five right the thing is that ending that oh and then rising but who cares 
We've already played Rising. The thing about that, actually Rising would technically have to come before Peace Walker. It doesn't matter. The thing about that is that ending the ending a journey like that on Metal Gear Solid 5 is so fucking depressing to think about. That would be such a fucking ass ending. That would be such a dick ass way to end our time with the Metal Gear Solid franchise. Wait, let's not call it a franchise. It's so corporate. With the Metal Gear Solid universe, the story of Metal Gear Solid, whatever franchise. Ending our last Metal Gear Solid stream being fucking Metal Gear Solid 5, like the end of Metal Gear Solid 5, that would suck, man. That would suck. That would fucking suck. That game sucks. Um, I mean, the story does. So my plan is Metal Gear Solid 1, Metal Gear Solid 2, Metal Gear Solid 3, Peace Walker, Metal Gear Solid 5, then Metal Gear Solid 4. And then Metal Gear, Solid Rise, uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Um, my plan is to end it all on Metal Gear Solid 4. Um, because, fuck it. You know, what, what the fuck better way to end Metal Gear Solid than the ending to Metal Gear Solid, right? Yeah, Metal Gear Solid 4 has its own laundry list of problems, but um, I think that it would be a more emotionally fulfilling experience to end our time with Kojima's work with Metal Gear Solid 4 instead of Metal Gear Solid 5. Um, so we'll be doing that, which means that the next game we'll be playing after Metal Gear Solid 3 will be Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, which technically we don't have to wait for the next HD collection to come out because I do own it on the Xbox 360. Uh, that being said, I probably will just wait anyway, unless I can't wait anymore, and then we'll see how that goes. Um, it Technically, I... I'm not playing Metal Gear Solid 3 on the PlayStation, uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 on the PlayStation 3. They're going to have to re-release that shit if they want me to play it. But I do also already have Metal Gear Solid 5 on the PS4, so technically we could go all the way up to Metal Gear Solid 5 and then just wait for Metal Gear Solid 4 to come out. But it's, it's fine. It's probably fine to take a break. Anyway, we'll play the trilogy, we'll take a break, and we'll come back with Peace Walker. The game's excellent. I need to stop talking or I'm never going to stop. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go for now. Um, I've, I really hope you guys had a good time. Uh, I wasn't planning on finishing the game today. Otherwise, I would have marketed it a little bit better than just making a stupid joke about the swimming section. It's fine. So I will see you guys. I will see you guys on Saturday. Uh, we're playing Dragon Ball Serenity, by the way, um, on Saturday. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um... And I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.